Hello and welcome to another Rapid Fire Wargaming Battle Report. I'm Danvers, uh, this is Fingers, this is Fish. You could say I'm in a delicious fish finger sandwich. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty good. Um, so we're back for another battle report. Today we're going to be playing Maelstrom of War Mission from Chapter Approved 2018 called Visions of Victory. Okay. This is the one. We, we don't know this until this point, by the way. Yeah? So. Okay, I still so, don't know what that means. Okay. I'll explain. This is the one where you maintain a hand of four cards, um, but every time you generate a tactical objective, you draw two cards and your opponent yes, yes, ditches yes, one of them. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we also obviously have the first strike, line breaker, and slay the warlord. Yep. Um, Fish is bringing along his night lord warband, yep. um, known as the Evan Claw. It's a coin. It's a good name. Because uh, he wants to use uh, some of the uh, stratagems and war traits from Faith and Fury to be yep. like awakening. Um, and Phil is bringing his admec. Um, My first love. Yeah, your one and true love. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're bringing the cheeky inquisitor along, aren't you? For... Yes, new rules in White Wolf. And I've got Cotillard from many, many years ago. So I thought, yeah. bring him along, see what he can do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and his, his little two headed eagle jump. Yes. It was cool. Okay. Um, so, Visions of Victory. Why are we playing this mission? Tell us. Tell us. Well, are you sitting comfortably? Because <laughs> it's story time. A strike force led by Belisarius Call has received a faint distress call from his Imperial High World on the fringes of the Cicatrix Maledictum. At the behest of the Ordo Malleus, Call is asked to support a hastily assembled Imperial response led by Inquisitor Lord Cotiaz. After a six week transit, the strike cruisers of the task force break into real space to discover a world in turmoil. Vast, warp tainted electromagnetic storms rage across the planet. Long-range scans suggest the population has been decimated and much of the planetary infrastructure obliterated by unknown assailants. For reasons known only to himself, Cotiaz insists on an immediate armed expedition to the surface. As the assault craft of the Adeptus Mechanicus roar into the atmosphere, all contact with the orbiting fleet is lost. Communication, even short-range Vox traffic, becomes fragmented and confused. Temporal anomalies mean orders received out of sequence or not at all. Out of the storm racked darkness of the dead city come the enemy, heretic Startes whose warped armour reflects the demented lightning in the sky. Kotiaz hefts his anointed demon hammer and turns to call. I was right, he cries. This is where it begins. Now let's take a look at those lists. All right, Fish, take us through your list. So we've gone quite command point heavy, because we want to have lots of command points to spend on those corner stratagems. We've got Battalion with a demon prince who is rocking the new Warlord trait, which gives him extra mortals on a hit to start, on a six to hit, which is pretty good when he's got eight, uh, eight attacks on the charge. He's also got something called the Talons of the Night Terror, which is an extra D6 attacks on the charge. And then he's got Dark Fossil with the minus one to hit prep, which is pretty useful, and three Chaos Space Marine squads, each with an auto cannon. So nice and cheap, but extra command points, and they can sit back and hopefully shoot something. Nice. Then we've got a second battalion, which is kind of this stuff, and that's got a Chaos Lord with Claws of the Black Hunt, which are a really good Night Lord's relic from the Codex, which just basically suits out Lightning Claws, and a Chaos Sorcerer with a Jump Pack. This is the Host Raptorial Detachment, which has got the plus two inch charge for him and anything with a Jump Pack. So it's got five, you know, a unit of five Warp Talons, which are nasty, two units of Raptors with lots of Plasma in each squad, which are okay and three units of 10 cultists to finish off the battalion. And then finally, we've got a Vanguard detachment, which is a Demonkin Ritualist detachment. And that's got a Master of Possession. It's got a Greater Possessed, who has the Special Warlord trait to give extra mortal wounds. And we've got a Big Blob of 10 Possessed. And we've got a Contemptor, which no one else seems to be much of a fan of, but I really like him, who's got the Sea Beam Cannons. And that's the list. Awesome. Is that 1750 points? 1749, unfortunately. Ooh. Couldn't find anything to get that last point on. <laughs> Very good. It's a lot of bodies. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of bodies. This. Coming up next is Phil's list. Okay, so this is 1747 points of Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay. Fingers, take us through your list. I've already got the moral advantage because I'm uh, under points. <laughs> so, Cold Dog, the big man himself. Belisar is cool. Um, he's my warlock by default. Uh, Manipulus, pretty handy. Extra range for pretty much everything within uh, within his aura. I dug him out of the uh, the old box this morning. Uh, last model that I kept to my Grey Knights that I sold many years ago, so it's quite handy. I've still got him. Nice, inquisitor uh, Cotiaz, 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 nice, Cotiaz, yeah, with his two-headed eagle. Pretty good new rules. You can just drop him into any detachment, and um, 
Deladeus, I think his name is. He's the new HQ that was part of the kill team. So, uh, he looks a bit like a data smith, but we won't go into that. Um, so, yeah, sorry, it's, it's a single battalion. Uh, troop choices, I've got a uh, unit of rangers with two snipers. A unit of nine um, vanguard. Upon high, uh, another unit of, of uh, rangers, two snipers again. I've gone quite sniper heavy, I don't normally run this many snipers. And then down here, another unit of five ranger snipers. Very nice. No Miles Admech list would be complete without a plethora of DACA bots, <laughs> of which I have four. So four DACA bots, everyone knows what they do. And I've got nine infiltrators, and they've got the uh, the taser goats and the pistol rather than the other, uh, the other combination. And uh, I've got one heavy, which is a Onager June Crawler with the laser variant and mm -hmm. the Underslung Cognis Stubber, and four Laz Chickens. What's their real name? Uh, Bella Staris something like that. I think it's officially Laz Chickens. Laz Chickens. Laz Chickens. Laz Chickens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the official name is something suitably uh, easy to remember. I'm Strider <laughs> Bella Of course. Name? Oh, yeah, that's why they call, everyone calls them Laz Chickens then. Laz Chickens, indeed. So that's pretty much it. I've, this year I've had this one for a. Cool. For a while, so very nice. Use your warlord. Um, my warlord's cool. I have paid a CP. Um, I haven't paid a CP at all. I've, I've brought in an inquisitor and paid a CP to give him effectively uh, to act as warlord so I can give him a relic. Okay, very um, nice. and that, that relic effectively gives him an extra um, psychic power so he can choose an extra power so he can cast three and deny two. Very nice. Joe's not happy about that fact. <laughs> he thought he was the only psyker on the field. Indeed, indeed. And this will be my first foray into psychdom. Okay, we'll, we'll remind you about the psychic phase. Yes, indeed, please do. So yeah, there we go. So I start with eight CPs, and I've spent one to make uh, the demon hunter himself a award. To give me a relic. Great. That's it. Nice. All right, coming up next is deployment. Okay, fish and fingers <laughs> have finished deploying. Um... They rolled off, Joe lost the roll, and therefore chose the deployment map and rolled for it and got Spearhead Assault, which is the pointy one, uh, up and down the board. Um, he then uh, let Phil deploy his army over here, Thus. thusly. And then he counter-deployed over here, thusly. Uh, a terrifying swarm of heretic hostilities storming through this city. As it stands, Phil is going first, unless yes, yes. Joe, fine. Joe chooses to seize the initiative. Are we gonna, it's not, it's not Joe a choice. Seize, <laughs> it's going it's to happen. It's gonna happen. You're going to do it. Okay, okay, have you got a dice set? Ready? I'm ready. ready. Where are we going to do it? Just here. Do you want. Yeah, do just there. Ready? Ah, that's not a it's literally the polar it's opposite, the opposite of a seize. It's giving me more advantage. Ah! Oh, <laughs> does it count? Oh. It doesn't count. Okay, so we'll be back at the start of Battle Round 1. Okay, so before Battle Round 1 kicks off, we've got some canticles to intone. Yeah, we've got some manticles. Uh, I'm going to select, I could roll for two, but I'm going to select one, one I've obviously not chosen yet, yeah. which is obviously Shroud Sun, which gives me a plus one cover save first turn. Okay, very good. And are there any dark prayers you'd wish to chant, sir? So we're going to put Benediction of Darkness on the Possessed to try and make them slightly more survivable. So it's going on for two pluses, so minus one to hit, which is not bad. Goes off on a five. Perfect. Okay, Phil has a confession to make. I do. Joe, stop me cheating. Coach Yaz obviously doesn't get a relic because he's a main character and they don't get relics. So take that back. <laughs> I've not spent the CP, so I start with eight. Perfect. Apologies. All right, now right, show sorry. us your cards. We've got to defend five and behind enemy lines. Uh, you can keep that one. Thanks, mate. Area denial and mission critical objective, which you have to uh, roll the d6 uh, yeah, to you can keep that one because there's still not going to be anything within six in the middle. Six, which is this one. Okay, so what I do I'll do them this way and then you can destroy and acquire. What's that? Score one victory point if at least one enemy vehicle was destroyed but did not explode, crash, and burn, etc. during this turn. And secure three, and you can keep secure three. And last, and hopefully best, 
Defend six or defend four? Six is this one right here, so you can keep defend objective four. Keep six. On. There you go. So you've got secure three, hide enemy lines, mission critical objective number six, and defend objective four. Okay, so here we are at the end of deployment. Fingers, are you going to talk us through what you decided to do with your forces? Yep, very costly. Glass cannon, glass cannons, all I've got to shoot, really. I've got one unit of uh, nine infiltrators that are going to come in from deep strike. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty much terrified of everything that's got on the board close combat. So I'm trying to get eyes on with the new character, uh, the Dalius, whatever he's called, because he gives me plus one to hit. So I'm trying to get him in distance, 24 inches, to get that to go off. Las cannons, I want to try and get far enough away so any deep strike shenanigans don't go slowly into my castle but also you know, get shots into the contemptor. Uh, these guys can with a strat fire at full overwatch which is terrifying with those cannons but fish can deny overwatch so it's a little bit naughty. So the snipers, everything here will be once I've moved within the uh, reroll uh, bubble of call. Uh, I think that's it, other than that I've just tried to disperse as much as I can to lock down deep striking. So yeah, pretty standard deployment, I think. Very nice. What about you, Fish? How did you decide to deploy in the end? Mine has a lot less tactical depth to it, to be honest. <laughs> it's a bit bold possessed. They're as far forward as they can possibly go. Uh, we had a bit of a debate about trying to get them in some cover, but by the time you get into line of sight, blocking cover, you sort of back 12 inches, and that's not really going to work very well. Yeah, so they're just going to storm down the middle of the they're road. They're going to storm down the road. I like uh, it. They're going to take some nasty hands to the face, but it's fine. Though. Some people have got multiple faces. Um, <laughs> we've got yeah, it's a spare ones. Uh, we've got Chaos Marines in ruins. We've got cultists spread out ready to jump on some objectives. There is a greater possessed and an master of possession in that bubble of possessed ready to give them those buffs. We've been getting a lot more, a lot more buffs by the first turn, but you know, we, we don't want to get bitter about it. Um, we've got Demon Prince backing them up, and there is a sorcerer back here hiding from snipers. And we've got a contemptor. He is out of place, he's hiding right at the back because he does get stronger the longer the range is between him and his target. So he wants to sit as far away as possible and just shoot conversion beams at robots. And the last time we played, he ruined my life. Yeah, he's, he can even do some damage. He's very, he's a bit uh, swingy, but when he... Oh, he it's, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> All right, very good. So we'll come back at the beginning of battle yeah, round one. Okay, so back at the end of Phil's turn one movement phase. What's happened? Not a lot, if I'm being perfectly frank. I've moved the vanguard down a bit to try and stop any... Uh, shenanigans with their deep striking nonsense. Uh, I've moved this uh, chicken up a little because he was out of range of the Contemptor, so he being Contemptor, so he will be a minus one to hit. I've moved uh, Dedalius, I'm going to call him Dedalius, probably not his name. Name. Dedalius, so he's within 24 inch of the nasty uh, unit there because I've played them before and they're absolutely horrific in close combat. And I think that's it. Snipers haven't moved. Everything's within the reroll bubble of call, with the exception of the uh, Vanguard and the Union. Yeah. Very nice. And are you going to be doing any psychic this turn? Uh, Cotier is, is, no, he's only got 18 inch range, so I'm using him as a bit of a counter threat, as it were, because uh, I've got no other melee at all, so it's generally. It's one bloke with a hammer. It's it's one guy with a master crafted hammer and an eagle with two heads. Yeah, which, actually, more more which, actually, which actually sounds all right. So, yeah, <laughs> I, that's it. All right, so we'll join you at the beginning of your shooting phase. Let's do it. Okay, Phil, what's up? What's first? Chicken time. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot all of the chickens, Kentucky Fried Chickens, yeah. into the C beam. Okay, back. Nice. Probably, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to spend CP on Protector, Doctrina, Imperative, as you right. do, as you do yeah, yeah. which effectively gives them plus one to hit. Okay. I'm hitting on twos. This guy's in on threes because he moved. Got it. So it's two shots each. Two, two, four, six, seven. I'll do the six first, hitting on twos. Two ones. Three rockers are cool. So Very nice. And then the fourth one is hitting on threes. Three rockers of Belisarius. One miss. So the strength nine, so they'll be hitting on. Winning on three. Winning on three. Oh dear. Do that. Do a CP. Might do a CP actually. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, so so three. That. Three go through and I'm down two CPs. So I've got a five up invulnerable save on the Contemptor. So this is a five up. And we make one of them, which is not horrendous. So we go through. Uh, D6. Oof. Ouch. There's going to be a Deck Contemptor turn one. 
So does he explode on a six? Yes, but I don't think he's within range of anything to do it. He does explode in a dramatic fashion. Very nice. So first strike to Phil. Yes. Can I just say before you, you pause? Can I just say before you pause? Joe took a very fluffy list like this to mm. London GT and finished second in the narrative event. So Joe is the channel's fluff master, aren't you, Joe? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the phrase, but yeah, we can go with that. He's our, <laughs> yeah, he's our chief fluffer. Very good. Sorry, yeah. Join me in a minute because I'm going to just think about what I'm doing next. All right. So next up, I'm going to fire uh, these two snipers. The rest of the units on uh, the objective six, by the way, for the mission critical objective. Yep. Um, so these two snipers are going to shoot at the master possession in the middle of that blob of nasty folk. Okay. So two shots hitting on threes. I will be re-rolling because of uh, cool dog. Uh, both hit strength seven, so that'll be threes to wound. And I think sixes are immortal. Uh, so two wounds, Joe, at minus two, please, sir. So I've got a five up and And we make one fail one. one. Uh, D3 damage. Just uh, the one. Just the one. So he's down to uh, three wounds, I believe. Okay, so straight into the next unit. Uh, they're slightly out of range from the, uh, the buffing. Uh, fat guy who's picking his nose. So we am going to fire two uh, snipers into the same target. Okay. Uh, let's go. So I think in range of call for nine inches. Yeah. Okay, so we're rolling the two. We roll two to the three. Threes again. Oh uh, dear. Thank you. Okay, so what's up next? Uh, so now the one armour tank that Joe's got is gone. I'm going to fire the Onager, uh, everything the Onager, so that would be the uh, heavy cognitive stubber and the laser into uh, that unit that possessed there. Okay. So D3 shots in the laser. So before you start rolling, oh, I'm going no. to use in midnight clouds to give them a minus one to hit for this phase. So they're now okay. minus two to hit. Minus one from the Dark Apostle, minus one from the Stratagem. Very nice. The spooky okay. night boys. So fives to hit. So it's D3 shots first, mind. Three shots. Fives to hit, re roll Cosmetic uh, One, re rolls, two. Uh, strength 10, I think it is. So yes, we're done twos. Twos. Uh, one. So, uh, one at minus four, I think it is. So it's going to be a five-up demon safe? Yep. We love it. Uh, we don't care. Just it right off. Beautiful. And just in case anyone was wondering, uh, Cool was one of the characters who, until the new Marine code Codex dropped, could re-roll any yeah, he was hits one of, rather than just I fail hits. he was possibly the only character, and every time you play anyone, they'd say, no, no, you only re you don't re-roll misses, you re-roll like a modifier, and you're like, no, 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 no. It's people just assume Phil's cheating for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but weird now, that. But now chapter master's can't yeah, yeah. anyone else. So yeah, it's yeah. not that special anymore. No, oh. No. Uh, so the under slum, piddly, piddly. Uh, Ten Fives, is it again? Is that, yeah, is that a, a Deptus Mechanicus turn? Yeah. Rerolling because of uh, the big boy. No. Nothing. So I'm going to fire the uh, deck of bots next, but it's going to be a lot of dice, so I'll write the dice up and come back to me. Okay, so next up, the Dacobots are shooting into the Possessed. Um, we've already done the hits off camera. It was uh, sixes to hit, but with 72 shots re-rolling because of cool, Fingers managed to get 27 hits through. Yeah. And now he's rolling the wounds, and every any six is a mortal wound in addition. I, I misread my Daedalus, because I thought if he's in 24, the army gets plus one, so it's not needs to be within six. Yeah. Uh, but that's Maybe still next pretty, yeah. Juicy, uh, pretty juicy. Pretty juicy. So I need threes. Yeah. Keep uh, track that is the second time Phil's tried to cheat. And uh, I think that's my second cheat. <laughs> yeah. No, and uh, I'm, I did drop the Rough of Mars, which is 2 CP, and any 6 is an initial mortal. Uh, so 3s. That looks okay. So just picking out the mortals. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mortals. And 19 minus twos. Ouch. Oof. Let's use deck of bots. So I do 10 first. So there's five mortals. This is the first 10 saves. And we only make two of them. So that's another eight wounds. So that's 13 total. And there's another nine saves. And we make one, two, three, four. There's another five. So that's eight plus five plus five. So that's 18 wounds. Which means there's one possessed left. Oh dear. She's upsetting. Brutally effective. Block. And I'm going to use a strat to shoot again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that brutal round of shooting over, 
Uh, it's the end of turn one for the Adeptus Mechanicus. Did you score any points, Phil? Uh, I've got one point for Mission Critical Objective. I think that's one point. I uh, score one for each point you control comes from an objective marker. Yeah, so I'll get one. Very nice. Obviously, the DACA bots, I've had worse shoots in with it on fours. In fact, I think I've had worse in on three. So to oh, get yeah. on sixes and basically wipe out how many points of that's. Yeah. That's brutal. It's, it's, yeah, it's going to be probably a bit of an uphill battle now for Joe, but we shall see. Okay, we'll be back at the end of. Oh, have you got any uh, morale to take or anything like that? I was going to say he's going to automatically run away. Imagine if you lose nine. Yeah. Whatever rice you roll, he's going to be running. Which is, yeah. It's pretty nice, obviously, if you run away immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at the beginning of Joe's turn one, we're going to draw some cards. So we've got Kingslayer, which is a Slay the Warlord, I believe, or Supremacy, which is control any three objective markers. So you can keep Kingslayer. Thank you. So generous. Uh, we've got Secure Objective 6, or we've got Witch Hunter. Uh, you can... There's a chance that you could come in, kill stuff, and move on to that objective. Witch Hunter, you need to kill Cote, yeah? Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Take that. Cool. And we've got Claim and Despoil, which is Ooh, a Chaos Marine one. Sounds... Control any objective that's controlled by your opponent, or I've got Defend Objective 3. Three is there, so take this one, so I think it'll be slightly more difficult. And lastly, we've got Secure Objective 1, or Big Game Hunter. So take that, and party. All right. All right, so we'll be back at the end of your movement phase. So in typical Night Lord fashion, we uh, showed up for a battle, and we weren't quite prepared for. Took a punch to the face with some uh, very unpleasant Dacobots, and we're just kind of hiding and hiding in ruins for a little bit. Hoping the guys coming in turn two can make a bit of a swing. But for now, I think it's hide in the ruins, try and play the objective game, and try and tempt those DACA bots out of the castle. And then we might have we might have a game on our hands. Very nice. And are you ready to jump into a psychic phase? Yeah, I think so. Most of it's going to be fairly straightforward. So we're going to start off with the Sorcerer. He's going to cast uh, Delightful Agonies on the Demon Prince. So this is one of the ones that would have been nice to get off on the Possessed if I had first turn. And it's a 5 up Phil No Pain. So this is going off on a 6. Uh, which fails on a 3, unfortunately. And then the Sorcerer is going to go for... We'll cast Warp Time, just see what we can get out of it. And that fails on a 4. And then other than that, we've got the Demon Prince is going to put Diabolic Strength on himself. Which uh, perils is. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we've had better turns, we've had better turns. Uh, so that's burn these dice, mate. D3 Mortals for 2. So he's taking a couple of more wounds. He's fine, he doesn't care. Would have been nice to have the uh, Feel No Pain from the previous one. Um, and then the... Master of Possessions over there. He's going to cast Cursed Earth, which just gives demon units plus one to their save, which goes off in a nine. Very nice. And then we're going to cast Infernal Power, which is basically reroll ones to hit the wound for demon units, which at the moment is just the Greater Possessed, but still worth doing. And that goes off on a seven as well. Very nice. Okay, so turn one shooting phase for Joe. What are you doing first? So we haven't got a huge amount of long range shooting in the army. We've got a few auto cannons, which are going to try and get some vengeance on some... Uh, some sort of last chicken. So this one's going to go first. So we've got two shots going at the last chickens, hitting on freeze, and we're on pause. And Very two nice. Wins. So I feel that's two saves at minus one. Uh, so I've got shroud song, and I think the, the save is uh, four. So minus one, so four it is. Go for it. Two go through. Four damage going through. Four damage. So one on two left. And then we do the same from the next two can, which is two shots. Yep. Uh, one hit and one wound. Nice. Four up. No. So that's one dead. I don't think they explode. Uh, it'd be nice if they did. I'd enjoy that. They do not. One explode. just crumples to the floor in a chickeny heap. Yeah. Twist their ankle. Chicken drumstick. And then the last auto cannon is going to go for two shots. The Well, probably not the last chicken section. We might have to go for the snipers on top of the red crate. So two shots. Uh, both hit. And both wound at minus one. Uh, so they've got four up there in cover, so same again. Nice. nice. Uh, and I think that's it for my shooting. Okay, so at the end of turn one for Joe. No points, unfortunately, Joe. How did that turn go for you? I've had better turns. I've had better turns. I have not played the Admech in a while. You do forget how nasty that turn one shooting phase is. But hopefully, it's, gonna, it's all going to come my way next turn. There's going to be some boys in jetpack showing up. Absolutely. She's only going to make him better. Yeah. Unless they see the state of things and decide to stay elsewhere. <laughs> exactly. And what about you, Phil? How did that go? Uh, yeah, as I say, 
yeah, if I go second, it, it can be a very different game. Oh, yeah. first, there's a lot of shooting. I forgot to say, I did use the uh, uh, stratagem so they could shoot twice. I forgot to say. No, that's okay. Shoot. Yeah. So I'm down to three CPs. Points wise, I've got one. So, scores wise, it's one nil. And uh, first strike? And first strike, sorry, yes. James Hedson, I couldn't see a lovely uh, score, scoreboard there. Mm. There it is. Okay, it's the beginning of turn two. Phil's got some canticles to roll for. So I was going to choose reroll once the hit because I'm bringing in the uh, infiltrators now, which is 50 shots, so it's useful. But I also want shroud sign, so I'm going to try and get lucky and do the adjustment with Cole, who lets you move it up and down by one. Uh, so four is uh, shroud sign, and six is reroll failed hits for one shooting phase. So that was perfectly what I want without any adjustment. Very nice. Very very fortunate. Okay, so onto cards. Cards. Uh, Jones, you want me to have Scout of Skies or Witch Hunter? Scout of the Skies is going to be quite a tricky one, I think, for you to do. So, okay. yeah, we'll go for that one. Uh, next up, option two, Assassinate Hold the Lion. Does Hold assassinate. the Lion keep me out of your deployment zone? No, score victory point if I have at least three units within my deployment zone and your opponent, opponent has no models. All right, yeah, you're going to take the Assassinate, I think, for that one. Uh, and three, Psychological Warfare... Or Kingslayer. Um, you can get Kingslayer. Lastly, Big Game Hunter, Domination. Um, go with Big Game Hunter. Very good. Uh, yeah, some interesting ones there, rather than securing and defending. Yeah. All right, so we'll be so, back at the end of your movement phase. Yeah, cheers. Okay, so cards have been drawn for turn two, and uh, Joe kindly let Phil keep Scout the Skies and Domination. I'm a generous man. Yes, and I got rid of defend objective three, I think, and I got the uh, six before. So very nice. Sensing a weakness in the in the enemy, um, Inquisitor Kotiaz asked the Adeptus Mechanicus forces to move forward and take the city. So everyone stormed forward to bring their guns to bear. Lots of hiding going on in the Night Lord's line. So uh, Phil's trying to get some uh, valid targets and. Uh, do you want to add anything to your movement phase? No, not really. I uh, advanced the rangers here up to try and get closer to three. All of the ground floor is line of sight blocking. That's right. Which I forgot to say before. Uh, yeah, so the DACA bots are pretty much neutered, as is, yeah, pretty much uh, most of my shooting. Very nice. And what, what have we got over here? Uh, yeah, the infiltrators came in uh, to try and just thin out the back lines a bit and get behind enemy lines. Okay, Phil, so psychic phase? Uh, no, oh, well, I've got KTS, but he's, uh, he's well hidden away, so he's uh, keeping his powder dry at the moment. Very nice, so straight on to shooting then? Yep, so I'm going to split fire the infiltrators. They've got pistols, uh, 12 inches, so I'm going to split fire into that unit and that unit there. Very good. And I'm going to use In Midnight Cloud again to give this squad another minus one to hit. So it's got one from the Dark Apostle uh, Prayer, and it's got one from the Stratum. Okay. So minus two overall. Okay, so I'll do the first 25 into those. I'm re-rolling ones, but I'm only hitting on fives. Fives. Uh, and I'm going to drop Rough of Mars, yep. which is 2 CP and any 6s to wound or Okay, so it fills down to 1 CP remaining now then. So, that many, and then re-roll some ones. A lot of ones. Here's a lot of ones. Few more. Okay, and I'm only strength three, yep. so I'll be wounded on fives, but six is remorse. So that's two mortals two, two, two. to death, and then just two regular saves. Yeah, good. So two saves right here? Uh, no, no, uh, there's fives for me. Yeah, so you've got two sixes. Oh, sorry, it's passed. So, yeah, two yeah. saves. So two saves, both passed, but two do you take a mortal wound to the face. So poor battling helmets. Okay, so then the next 25 into yeah, the other unit. Yeah, next so they're just a minus one, so they'll be hitting on... That's down, they'll be hitting on four zero ones. Not too shabby. Okay. Uh... Same again? Yep. Just two sixes, exactly the same again. You love this. <laughs> Five and sixes. Uh, six four six. mortals. Much more brutal that time. And six saves. Yep. Come on, no ones? One one, so that's what's white. 
Okay, so what's up next, Phil? So I've not got a great deal that can shoot, really, so I'm going to shoot the uh, snipers here into one of the few units they can see, which is that unit of Chaos Specialist over there. Cool. Okay. Uh, so that will be two shots. They are within nine inches of cool. Uh, so both hit. Yep. And it'll be threes to win. And just one wound at minus three. Minus three. So I'll be saving on a four up, five up. Let me just check minus three. Oh. Oh, yeah. Drop dice, don't count. Five up. Yeah, it's definitely up. Yeah, it's definitely going to go three. But I will just check quickly so you know for next time. Is that going to be a dead cast facing me? That was a three in case anyone was wondering. So it's minus two, but that wouldn't have made a difference. It's different. No, yeah. So. Um, that's dead cast facing me. So because I moved forward a bit, uh, I'm a lot out of range of call now, so I'm going to shoot the uh, chickens into that remaining yep. unit there. So they're at minus two to hit? They are at minus two to hit. So uh, two, three, four, so six shots. Hitting on threes, hitting on sixes. Hitting on sixes. Uh, so one goes through, and twos. Yep. Now be minus three on the two up, so it'll be a five up safe. Safe. Very That's nice. Cool. Uh, this unit here, so the snipers into the same unit, are they still hitting on sixes? It is minus two yeah. for the whole page, yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, one hit, and they're out of range from Paul. And they won't wound on a no, seven. Three don't. Yeah. So mm. I think that's all the onager. Yep. So the, the midnight raiment of the night laws keeping them alive? Yeah, but indeed, yeah, indeed. Good. So the honor is going to shoot the only unit you can see, which is the uh, cultist. So D3 shots. It's a bad day to be a cultist. Uh, three shots. Uh, all hit. And twos to kill. So Yeah, just two dead cultists. Three dead cultists. Oh, three dead cultists. I'm going to do a full chest. Okay, so that's the end of uh, Phil's turn. No charges this time. Uh, but we've got some morale to do over here on the cultists. Is that right, Joe? Yep. So they're only leadership six, and they lost three to a very unpleasant neutron laser. So on a one, two, or three, they're brave. They're not brave. There's three of them running away on a six. So that is three cultists running away, which is fair. If three of your buddies just took a neutron laser to the face. I yeah. would be, I'd be running. Okay, so at the end of Phil's turn two, he got behind enemy lines. Are you going to discard anything, sir? Uh, yeah, domination. Fair enough. All right, so Phil, can I have... Defend Objective 2, or Defend Objective 1, there's a lot of variety there. Mm, well, you've got both of them. I have it. One is that one, and two is that one. one. Yeah, so both well inside Joe's deployment zone, that's a good good choice. Yeah, so you can have one, because cultists are a bit more feeble. Fair enough. Okay, just to recap on Joe's cards, he's got Witch Hunter, Big Game Hunter, Claim a Dispoil, and Defend Objective 1. Okay, Joe, so end of turn two movement phase, what's happened? We've had a lot of boys jump down, which I think is, is always a nice moment. We've got Raptors with Plasma set up here, hopefully shoot some guys here, charge in, grab the objective. We've got some new hotness, which is the Warp Talents. They've always been okay, and then they got even better when they got the plus one attack from Hateful Assault. They got plus two inch charge from the detachment, and they've got a 3d6 charge from the new stratagem, so Very should be nice. charge into some chickens. Ignore some Overwatch, and then there's a new strategy to even hold them up in combat, which is quite tasty. We've got okay. Demon Prince, who's looking at Batman Light, looming up on there. Hopefully Very nice. Hopefully mess someone's day up. Everything else has kind of moved forward. There's a great Possessed here, who's hopefully going to have a few stern words with the infiltrators back there. Yeah, there's a, there's a new strat that allows... Is it charging is out of cover a, or something? Yeah, like it's plus two inches to my charge range if I'm charging from cover. Very nice. It gives me a minus one to be hit in close combat as well, which is yeah, quite nice. Very nice, very nice fluffy, yeah, fluffy rules. Bursting from shadows is what we're doing, aggressively. So this is quite an exciting new strategy. It is called Vox Scream, which is, it sounds terrifying. And it's coming from this unit of raptors, and they are targeting, targeting the big cool man himself. So I select one model within 18 inches of the Night Lord's unit, and until the start of my next movement phase, Enemy units cannot use calls or abilities. So basically means no rerolls until my next week. And that's within 18. It's within 18. So it's one of those things we'd love it to get off turn one, but getting something 18 and inches away, that's the is pretty tricky. Very nice. Okay, so turn two psychic phase. So the Master of Possessions. Most of his powers are there to buff the possessed, but because the warp talons are demon units as well, they can get some benefit. So he's gonna put Cursed Earth on them, which is a plus one to their inbound. He's not probably going to be that relevant, but if they don't make the charge, it might be nice to keep him alive. And that's going to go off on a seven, which fails on a six, unfortunately. 
and then he's going to smite, which will go onto the last chickens. And that goes for an 11, that's a mega smite. Nice. A mega smite. Very nice. nice. Uh, I, I'm out of range. Out of range. Ooh. That's like a so. That's D6 mortals. She's a six. Six Very nice. Kills a chicken. Blast. upsetting because it takes him out of range. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Blast, the last yeah. chicken. Let's see how it goes. Into dust. Um, and then it's going to be the demon prince who's going to cast a diabolic strength on himself. Chaos fried chicken, if you will. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, so diabolic strength is going to go off on a six. And that goes off on an eight. Would you like to try and deny? Is it the same thing casting? Uh, this is the demon prince oh, casting yeah, on himself. Uh, what else have you got to cast? Walk time and start at Lagonies. And what's the one you just cast do? Plus, it's plus two strength, plus one attack. I think I'm knackered if he gets in anyway, so I won't deny Fair enough. So he's got diabolic strength, he's diabolically strong. And then the sorcerer behind him is going to try and put delightful agonies on him, which gives him a five up, feel no pain. And this needs a six. That goes off on an eight. Would you like to try and deny? Fair enough. And then the big one is warp time, which needs a six. So if we get this off, we can propel the Demon Prince into enemy lines. It goes off on an 8. So I will try and deny that. I was on a 3. It goes off. So that Demon Prince is going to be shooting forward. We have a no pain and fully buffed. Okay, so the start of the Night Lord's turn 2 shooting phase. What's going first, Joe? So I'm going to open up with the uh, Demon Prince, who's got a warp bolter. Mm. Um, I think he's just going to chuck it at the <laughs> Honager. So it's a couple of shots and it's damage too. So it's two shots hitting on two, two hits. Strength 4, so it's only wounded on 5s. We'll get 2 wounds. Very nice. 2 minus 1 saves, Phil. 2 minus 1, so I believe he's 3 up and he's got shrouds on. I think it's 3 up, let me check, because I don't want to cheat you again. No, it's only 4 or 5 times so far. For the 4th time. Four. And he has got a save of 3, so we're down to 2 because the shrouds only minus. Minus 1. Minus 1, so he's. Uh, one. So 1 goes through, so that's 2 damage. damage. It's not bad. So he's down to 9. Okay, next up. So this unit of Raptors is going to open fire at the Vanguard. So they've got two bolt pistols, which will be first, they're a bit boring. So they're hitting on freeze. And we've been on freeze. Two wounds with no AP. Uh, so we'll be four up, but we shall have three up. Three ups. One goes through. Cool. And then we've got six plasma shots because there's a sergeant with two pistols and there's two rapid firing ones. We're not going to overcharge because they're just pretty little Vanguard. So hitting on freeze. Rerolling the ones. Four hits. And then we've been on freeze. It's not great. Two more saves. Minus one again? Uh, minus three, because it's plasma. Uh, so both go through. Yeah. Yep. Oh, sorry, this on this one, Vanguard. And then I'll keep things simple. I'm going to do the same with the other squad. Because what I want, I want to shoot that one. I want to charge this one and just sit on that objective. So, two bolt pistols. Uh, one hit. No wounds. Damn it. And then six plasma. Uh, Rewind the one. And wounded on freeze. That's one save at minus three. And that was at the... On the Vanguard again. Another Fools. Not bad. And then we've just got a couple of auto cannons left, really. So this auto cannon is actually going to go for the Vanguard as well, because we know as well. So that's two shots in on freeze. Uh, one hit. One wound on a six, and that's one more minus one. You did? Yep. And this auto cannon is going to go for... The squad kind of sitting up on that and that just mechanic of scenery. So two shots hitting on freeze. Both hit. Uh wind in on freeze. Both wind. So two more minus ones on the range. Uh blokes in the These dome guys up here. So the dome boys, those ones. These ones, yeah. Yeah. We're all safe. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh so one done. Cool. And then the bolters from those squads, I should have declared them all at once really, but they're going to go for the infiltrators. So there's four bolt gun shots from here, going into the infiltrators, getting on freeze. Wounding on freeze. They are toughness three, aren't they? Toughness three, yeah. Yeah, so one save on the infiltrators. Uh, so they're four up, we should have some three up. Any modifier? Nope. So that's good. Um, and then I don't know if much else can see the infiltrators. Yeah. There'll be a couple of cultist shots, so there'll be two cultists that are on the upper floor that can see them. Yep. So two shots hitting on fours. Uh, three hits, winding on, pause. Uh, two more saves, no AP. Three up. Ooh. So one's on one wound. Cultist takes a yeah. kill. Uh, takes a wound. Oh, takes a wound, I beg your pardon. Yeah, that's not bad though. Taking revenge for that neutron laser earlier. Yeah. Um, and then that is my shooting phase. Okay, so first charge of turn two charge phase. So we've got another exciting new stratagem, which is called From the Night. 
And that gives one of my units that's in terrain plus two to their charge rolls and plus one to hit as well. So the great possessed is going to try and charge the infiltrators. It's a nine inch charge, we've got plus two, so we need a seven. So come on. Seven? Seven. Seven. Oh, oh, come on, no watch. <laughs> <laughs> not, not from this angle. So Mr. Great Possessed is going to pile in there. Possibly get taser goaded to death, but we'll see how it goes. And just so you know, obviously you probably do know, but I wouldn't. Have, I didn't get overwatched because he charged from out of line, so. Yeah, he charged through, through these ruins here. Okay, what's up next, Joe? So we're going to go for the big charge from the Water Talents, and they're going to go into the last chickens. So they need like about a 10-inch charge. They're plus two to the charge anyway, because the Chaos Lord here gives them plus two from his specialist Warlord's attachment. And I'm going to use the other new stratagem, which is called uh, which is called Raptor Strike, and that's when one of my Raptor units, so these Warp Talons or the Raptors, Deep Strike, they get 3d6 charges. So they need a, you say nine or a ten? Got ten. Ten. They need a ten. They got plus two, and they got 3d6. They need an eight on 3d6. They Easy. love Great. it. And they are denying Overwatch because they are Warp Talons. So they've got a. 9, 13, 15 inch charge. Very nice. Which gets them kind of in between those ones, which is pretty good. Okay, we'll just move those in and then come back for more charges. So we're gonna go for the Raptor units here. They also get the plus two inches from the uh, Warlord trait here. So they've got a nine inch charge to those Rangers. If we get in, we manage to kill them or make them run away, we've got a pretty good chance of getting that objective. So this one's gonna go first. So they need a seven. They don't make it. Come on, and the, yeah, I don't think it's worth so They've got more important charges to make off. So we'll go for this one next. And they do make it on a nine. So Very one nice. of the squads gets in. Very nice. And they can move an 11, which is going to get them on that objective. They probably won't wipe the squad, but they've got a minus one leadership bonus on top of being Night Lords for a minus one. So we might be able to get the last few to run away, hopefully. Okay, so the Chaos Lord failed his charge into the chickens off camera. So we're over to the final charge of the turn. The so we've got a six inch charge into a, on the jerk. So I have rolled Overwatch and did nothing. Yeah, which was nice for me. So we need a six and we get a 10, which is nice. Very nice, so he's very in. So we're gonna sort of try and swoop in around here and try and sit on that objective as well. Just yeah, around easy. there somewhere. All right, lovely. Okay, the Night Lords turn to fight phase. Where are we starting, Joe? So the Warp Talons are gonna swing at some uh, last chickens with some lightning claws. So I said, they've got quite a decent number of attacks now. They get the hateful assault bonuses. So we are hitting on freeze. We have no rerolls, unfortunately, but we do get death to the full temper, and we get one, two, three of those. So that's three extra attacks. Very nice. Which we get two more hits. Which don't generate further. No, unfortunately not. Can't go on forever. And then running strength four. What is the toughness of your chickens, Phil? The toughness uh, six. Six. So we're on fives. We are lightning claws, so we do get a reroll. So that is one, two, three, four. That was a six. And then we get a reroll. Another one, two, three, four. Very nice. That is eight in total. Eight minus three wounds. Mm -hmm. So they will go straight through because they are a four up safe. Um, so, should double check in. Oh, sorry, they're only minus two, so you can get a six up safe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think the guy might get six up anyway, didn't they? Oh, you can get your little robot. That's just shooting off. That's one. Uh, damage each? Uh, just one. So, they did. Oh no, one's dead. Yeah, one's dead. One's dead. Five wings. That was the dance of the last chickens there. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Yeah. And if we move on to the raptors here. So, not quite as many attacks here. They've got one, two, three, because you've got chainsword as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So this is me attack. So again, hitting on freeze. We really want to kill this squad so we can steal that objective. That's pretty good going. Pretty good spread of hits there. So. And we've got two death to the four temperance. We've got two extra rolls. And then we're just wounding on freeze. Uh, so that's six saves with no AP. Four up. Three die. Three dead. Pretty perfect. Very nice. So you're hoping with some morale shenanigans yeah, they'll run away. One of those times where the Night Lords Legion trait might be relevant. <laughs> minus one leadership just because they're Night Lords, and then the Raptors give another minus one. So it's minus two leadership on top of the casualties. So spooky, spooky Night Lords. OK, 
Okay, so we're moving on to this combat between the Demon Prince and the Onager, and this one is quite important because it means you can get two points potentially. Yeah, so I want to be one of my cards is to steal one of Phil's objectives, and we've got hopes on them running away, and we've got hopes of killing a Onager. Okay, and Big Game Hunter as well. And Big Game Hunter, we've got cards everywhere. And this is the Demon Prince with the new Warlord trait and the new Relic, so any sixes to hit are a mortal wound, so it's a bit of oh, nice. payback for that Vengeance from Mars or whatever it's called. So hitting on twos. And we are going to be re-rolling the ones. The six is an extra attack, so that's two extra attacks because of the death of the Force Emperor. It's two so extra hits. That's two mortal wounds. wounds straight away. And then we've got this many attacks wounding on freeze. Very good. And that is at minus two, I believe. Okay, so they are four up, I think. Yep. So that'll be sixes. Uh, none of them. And that's two damage each. Oh, dead. Does he explode? He does. does. Oh dear. Your dice betraying you there, Jack. I did. Well, I've taken two more wounds from a uh, psychic power to the brain. Uh, and it'll be D3. Presumably, it's not going to be D6, is it? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know I'm looking, but I'm going to look anyway. It's optimistic. Roll it up and we'll, uh, we'll work it out. It's three. Ooh, nice. So it's down two. He's only got three wounds left, and most of those have been self-inflicted. <laughs> okay, so now some attacks back. We forgot to mention, but the uh, character here heroically intervened at the end of Joe's charge phase. So what's, what's happening first, Phil? Uh, the chicken's going to hit back, so two attacks, hitting on threes. Snake not, eyes. Not an angry chicken. <laughs> and then uh, the heroically intervening uh, Diadella Dilly Dilly Delius. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. I don't think he's got much in the locker when it comes to bashing things on the head. So you've got two attacks, you know, fours. Better than the chicken. Uh, strength plus one, so strength four, toughness four, yep. fours. He's got a wound him. So one at minus one. So, so uh, four up. He takes out a walk time. Okay, so we just nip back down this end of the table because we forgot one of Joe's charging units. So it's one of my favourite units, the Greater Possessed. He's got six attacks on the charge. He's hitting on twos. Uh, doesn't re-roll ones, but he does get death to the Force Emperor Prox. So that's two extra attacks. And that's that many hits. So he is strength five. So he's going to be wounding... Oh, actually, strength six gives himself a little so buff. He's wounding on twos. Yeah. And this is wound rolls, I believe, are doing mortal wounds. On um, sixes. Yes. So there's one mortal. Yep, so that kills one who was on one. Yep. And then there's one, two, three, four, five saves at minus two. Okay, so they are four up, so I need five, six up. What's damage just having? D3. Two, so five, six up, if you please. Uh, one. Not one. So four D3. So we have to roll one at a time. So first one kills one. So Second one kills, kills two. one. Third one kills. Fourth one kills. Be nice. Not bad. Five dead in total. That's why the great is one of my favourites. So my head's back. Yep. Uh, so three for the sergeant, two for the other guys. Uh, Sorry. Right. So hitting on three. Uh, strength six because they're plus two to wound. Oh, and plus two, five. sorry, to strength. So uh, three, three. Uh, four wounds. Uh, did I have any sixes? I have no idea. Uh, we must check the footage. We'll check the footage and get back to you. Okay, so five wound rolls to save. So, so I did roll one six, so that's why it's turned into two. So off camera. All right, so we need three up save. We failed two, so he's down to three wounds. Okay, so three of the remaining um, infiltrators ran away. And that is the end of Joe's turn two. Uh, and he scored Claimer to Spoil, yep. Big Game Hunter, and he has started defending Objective One. You going to discard any of these? I think we get rid of Witch Hunter. Okay, so that's the end of Battle Round 2. What do you think, guys? How did that go? Definitely a turn around. Yes. Full sense of security, I think, mm. for uh, turn one. Uh, I obviously kind of a little bit complacent, kind of ran forward a bit, a little bit gung-ho, 
Uh, yeah, I've got lots of night lords in my face. Yeah, I think it's kind of it's kind of fluffy, you know. The yeah. the night lords lured the admech forward, yeah. uh, and then the counter punch was pretty brutal. I mean, the so the new stratagems meant that I could get a three d six charge in with them. It means I can possibly stop that falling back, and it just occurred to me that if it's a vehicle, I don't think I can stop it falling back. It meant that this greater possessed could charge in and do a number on the infiltrators. And yeah, I think it's one of those things that normally the game would be kind of falling apart a little bit now, but those new stratagems have yeah. turned the tide somewhat. Which, uh, yeah, nice. which yeah. is what you want from the new book. Yeah. Uh, points wise, 3 2 to yeah. me. So Joe got two points there, I just got one. Okay, so we'll be going on to Battle Round 3 in a minute. Okay, a couple of things happened at the beginning of Battle Round 3. First of all, Phil rolled for his canticles. So I rolled a 1 and a 4. Um, so I've got Shroud Psalm and the Litany of the Electromancer, so I'm going to keep with that. So any unit within one inch uh, of one of my units is uh, on a six, it's D3 mortal wounds. Okay. Um, so you never know. So I'll, yeah. I'll roll it for the uh, HQ first. So I need a six. I don't get one. And for the chicken. Oh, oh. I do get one. It's a D3 mortal wounds. Just one. Dead wolf uh, Do I CP it? My last CP for a laugh? No. Okay, and we've also got some prayers to incant. You've got some more uh, more wings possibly coming up here. Not really, no. Uh, no, probably not. No, I can't no, no, have that anymore. No, no. Uh, yeah, so over here, the Dark Apostle is going to cast his prayer on these guys on a two up. Goes off. So there's minus one to hit on these Marines as well. Okay, so the first choice uh, Joe has to make is between Advance and Master the Warp. So I think you can't do that one because your robots can't move. So you can have that one. Supremacy or no prisoners? Uh, yeah, we'll go for supremacy. Okay, turn three movement summary from Phil. So it's getting pretty exciting, it's shaping up quite nicely. Mm. It's, it's, it's played out quite thematically. Um, so I can't move out my didadlyus, diddly diddly diddlyus, uh, because Joe you know, Potter. I, I have come for you. Um, so it's one of the new Night Lord strats. Basically, if I've got, I choose one of my units and do at the end, sorry, start of Phil's movement phase. And basically anything that's not a vehicle or Titanic or got like a minimum move characteristic cannot fall back from these, this unit. Which means this little guy is stuck in combat, which is probably not where he wants to be. There we go. Uh, some of the rangers jump down to secure that objective. We move the uh, characters up here because I'm hoping to smash the raptors here. Use the Dacobots there to kill them. Use these decabots to kill the Night Lord who's just poking out a wing. We did try and rotate the wing to get out of line of sight, uh, but we couldn't get all, it was just two of them. And then, uh, so did that, the chicken fell back. And then I'm going to hopefully use Kotiaz's two psychic powers to finish off these guys. Mm -hmm. Lastly, yeah, sorry, the Rangers moved up to that objective. So I've got supremacy, so I'm hoping one, two, three, uh, that'll be. Enough. Very nice. Get you back in the game. Yep. Okay. So join us shortly for my shooting phase. <laughs> and psychic. Don't forget psychic. And psychic phase. Okay. Turn three psychic phase. Phil, what are we doing? This is momentous because in many years of playing this game, this will be my first psychic activity. Mm. So I'm going to use Kotiaz. Uh, he's got castigation, which is effectively I need to roll a six for it to go off. Joe, not deny. Yeah. And then I need to roll higher than Joe's leadership on uh, a D3. Uh, 3d6. Okay. Uh, and then I'll do smite. So walk charge value 3 to 6, did you say? 6, yeah. Because I'm a 9. So we'll try the knight from the demon prince. And go spring. So d3 mortal wounds. Oh no, actually, sorry, I need to do my leadership first. What's your leadership? So leadership in 8. Which you do beat. Which I do beat. Very nice. So d3 mortals. For 1. For 1. For one dead. And one more dead warp talent. And then smite. Goes off on a five. The sorcerer up in the room is going to try and deny. And doesn't deny. Double Very one. Nice. So another D3 mortal wounds. I need B. Kills the unit. Enough. Very good. So that's pretty much what I. Well, yeah, I mean, it's useful. How was Psychic Phase for you, Phil? Did you enjoy it? It was. It had its ups and downs. <laughs> I'm, I'm set, yeah. I have mixed feelings. No, it's alright. It did its job, so. Perfect. Okay, at the beginning of Phil's turn three shooting phase, he's doing some small arms. What are we doing? Yeah, so I'm going to shoot the uh, small arms and two medium-sized arms. I'll do the uh, two <laughs> snipers into the... Maybe just no, one sniper. Just one sniper into the Demon Prince. Do you want to put the other sniper elsewhere? Uh, yeah, good point. Uh, this guy up here. That's fair. So I'll do him first, the sniper into him. So hit my threes. He hits. And uh, threes again. Uh, nope. 
Second sniper into your demon prince, hit my threes, hits, and nothing. So then I will do all the uh, rapid firing ranger yep. shots, two, four, six, eight. Yep. There's some dice, bad prep. <laughs> four, sorry, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So threes. Just one. Just one. So it's a I'll top checking it out, it's a free up save. It's a four so yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay, so moving on to some more shooting and Joe's used a stratagem here. So keeping these boys alive, I mean he's big for the overall battle plan here and it keeps the demon prince alive for a bit longer. So I'm gonna spend one command point to use in midnight plan to give them another minus one to hit. Okay. So they're at minus they're at minus one. They're at minus one, okay. And what Joe's saying there about keeping the demon prince alive is that because the DACA bots are actually technically closer to this unit. Mm. I couldn't then shoot up the line sight here, which I've got. Yeah. So, very sensible. Yeah. So, I've got nine shots because they're three shots each. Three, six, sorry, 12 shots. It's four of them, isn't there? Three, 12. Uh, 12 shots. Hitting on fours now instead yeah. of threes. And I think sixes do something damage. Uh, oh, so it's two damage. Two damage to the one, which is irrelevant for this. So, fours. And this is without a reroll as well. So, it is about four reroll, was a box screen. Indeed. Uh, and that is just strength three. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five. Yep. That's four. It's not bad. So you've got four uh, free ups. So it's so one's at my. Uh, sorry, yeah, two yeah, damage. Yeah, four free ups. So we fail one, so one dice. Uh, and then uh, I'll do the two snipers. Cool. Uh, both hit. Yeah, one hits. Oh, so yeah. One's one. Ah. <laughs> One wound. Uh, one wound. Uh, minus, minus two. two. To be a five up. Nope, one more dice. Slowly getting there. Two left. Uh, the Magna Lance off Manipulus. Sounds intimidating. Uh, fours. Oh. So it's hit. Sorry, I don't pine that often. So I think it's strength seven. Yep. So strength seven, yep. Four wounded off freeze. Wounds, so minus, wounds speak, and it's minus three. We've got six up. Don't make it on a five. And it's a flat three damage. Oh, there's another rat today. We've got one left. I don't think it would have been D3. That doesn't matter, does it? Because he moved in his... Yeah, it was Sanctuary. mortals. Yeah. yeah. And then call to hopefully finish the unit. I believe he's got a D3 uh, assault. So D3 shots from yep. call. Oh. Just one. Come on, point. Uh, I do need to kill him. I definitely need to kill him. He is hitting on twos. You've only got one CP remaining, is that right? I've got one CP remaining, but there's not much. Yeah. I'm going to use it for maybe making a chicken shoot on uh, hit on twos. I'll do a CP. Yeah. I'm at CP. Uh, it's D3 shots. Ah, oh, three, three shots. This is nasty. Uh, so hit on twos. Is it freeze because of minus one? Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. One hit. One hit. Oof. And then it'll be twos. It's going to be twos to kill, I imagine. Yeah. Ooh. What's the minus? Uh, it's minus big. Um, actually, minus four, yeah. Still, so you can't let's go up. straight through. Uh, so i cover. Oh, interesting. Do I get six up? Yeah, yeah you get six yeah. up, yeah. That's ah, so a one, it's the opposite of a six. Okay, okay, so mission accomplished. Yeah. So what's that, what that's done, uh, I can now, yeah. the Demon Prince is the yeah. closest unit. So I've got this unit here of Rangers to move, that moved up for, to secure objective three. Um, they did move, so the snipers will be hitting on fours. So both snipers are going to go at the Demon Prince, and the three, uh, sorry, the two rangers that can see the Demon Prince will go here. Uh, do you know what? I just put everything into here. Yeah, all right. Cool. Don't worry about the cultists. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, is that within 15 inch? I think it is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So rapid fire for the two. So rangers. No hit modifiers? No, no hit modifiers, unfortunately. And then toughness? Uh, six. So fives. No, nothing. Yeah. Two snipers. One hit. And threes. There's one minus There's two. One up minus two. We've got five up. Saves. Saves. Well done, sir. Okay, what's next, Phil? So, so one DACA bot can see the Demon Prince. The other three can't see much, so they're going to shoot. They're going to finish off some raptors. Yeah, to try and stop that other raptor unit coming in. Everything else is characters, so it's a bit, a bit target shy at the moment. Uh, I did, uh, by the way, fire my five pistol shots in combat and did nothing on any possessed greater thingy. 
So nine shots, shooting twice because they're in the uh, protector protocol. Uh, hitting on four. So this is 18 in total. 18 shots in total, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then what are we going for? Uh, we're going to freeze, you reckon, if it's seven. You should have checked. I should know this amount of bloody time I've played it. Maybe a bit of a mental fade there with me. He should know this. We can all agree. How are you feeling about Vox Scream as a strategy right now after after that? Honestly, I think for Admet, where they rely so heavily on that yeah. re-roll. Yeah, because Cool cool would have been re-rolling all of these. Yeah. yeah. So, so fours. Fours. So three. Go through. Three. three at minus two. How many words you got left? Uh, five, I believe. But I will double check in a sec. So it's three saves and a five up. Three go through. So damage two. No, it's damage one. Damage one. And he's got five up for no brain. He uh, saves one of them. So he's taken two there, one from the explosion, one more there. No, two more there. So he's down to three wounds. Okay, there's a raptor shaped hole here. Uh, the dagger bots put the remainder of the shots into them and just wipe them out quite convincingly. So, last shooting uh, is going to be Cotiers. Cotiers. Uh, he's going to do his cyber eagle. Cyber eagle. What was it? His cyber eagle. So, that's assault d6 shots. So, it's into the demon prince. Four shots. Cool. If, if you kill him with, a, with an eagle, I'll be really happy. Oh, I will never live it down. I should have fired his pistol first, actually, but now I'll do the eagle. Uh, and it's strength four, so fives. No. Nah. He was a bit of a letdown. Pistol, is that in 12? Yeah. Maybe. Measure it. Uh, oh, maybe not quite, actually. Nah, just out. Yeah. Okay, so the Demon Prince lives, uh, but I've given myself a bit of breathing space. There, That's right, yeah. That's it, yeah. Um, Pushed yeah. him back a little bit on this flank, at least. Yeah, cards-wise. A few cards. Yep. So I've got supremacy, so D3 victory points if you control only three. So I've got, actually. You don't have that one. No, I've not got that, have I? Because I was, I was going to charge in, so no, I do not have that one. Uh, advance, I've not got that. Scale of skies, and secure objective three. Yep. So that's two for me that turn. Okay, so the greater possessed uh, ignored the infiltrator's attacks and just smacked him back and killed him. No morale to take, so that's the end of Phil's turn. Three. Yep, yeah. and I uh, score Defend Objective 1 at the end of that as well. Very nice, so we're on to Joe's turn three now. Alright. Okay, so at the beginning of Joe's uh, turn three, he's going to got four cards to generate. So, first one, we can have no prisoners, or we can have psychological warfare. Score average 20 for your opponent failed a morale test during their turn. And that's just kill stuff. Hmm. Both Isn't of that's quite likely. There's not many units left that are going to fail a morale that easily, though, because you've got a lot of small units. They're probably yeah. just going to die yeah, before they... Yeah, they're... yeah, yeah, good point. Take that. Yeah. Then we've got Area Denial, or we have Master the Warp. And that's just do psychic powers. And you've got Send the Board. Maybe not. You'll definitely do that, so take Area Denial. Cool. And then we have the Long War, which is uh, kill enemy units, destroyed. or Rise to Glory, which is... Kill a can enemy character vehicle or monster with one of my characters. Okay, so you probably kill the chicken with your. It's the same, isn't it? It's really... Yeah. Just that slightly more. Any Imperium units were destroyed. There. Score one victory if an enemy unit was destroyed during this turn. Score D three instead if any Imperium units destroyed this turn. Hmm. Okay, so I don't want to have that. It's fair. Have that. And the last one. We've got Assassinate, or we have Secure Objective 2, which is this one, I believe. Pretty good draw for Joe. Yeah, yeah we've got all the bad cards out of the way early, I think. Okay, so turn three movement summary for the Night Lords. It's got a huge amount, actually. I was looking at this. We've got some characters that run up here, because we're going to try and assassinate some uh, Adeptus Mechanicus guys. The Chaos Lord, with his fancy claws, has moved up here. So again, it'd be nice to take down Call. Um, other than that, a bit of shuffling, some cultists have moved out to hopefully shoot up some guys off some objectives here. That's a little bit optimistic. And that is about it, if I'm being honest. There's not a huge amount of movement about Nice, okay. And are you ready to go straight into your psychic phase? I think so, yeah. So we're going to go for the Light Palagonies from the Sorcerer onto him, which gives him that feel no pain. And that's going off on a six. Which fails on a five, unfortunately. I think I'm going to come on point that. So it goes off on an eight. Would you like to try and deny? No. No. And then the Sorcerer is going to try and warp time the Demon Prince, which needs a 7, I believe. 
I think that means it goes up. Yeah, it goes up on a seven, so he's gonna move for an extra twelve. Unless you want to deny. Yeah, sorry, would you like to try and deny? This is warp time the demon prince is probably pretty big and it's only a seven. Yeah. Coach is gonna try and deny. Oh, definitely deal. does. Cool. And then the demon prince is gonna try and cast diabolic strength on himself on a five. So that goes off. On eleven, so he's plus two strength, plus one attacks. Um, and then the Master of Possessions is going to smite. So you only use just in range of those ranges. So that goes up on a five. Uh, fails on a double one, which means we perils as well for a mortal wind. You got peril in tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah just like it brings a bit of spice into the game. Yeah, yeah I think it's all those uh, electromagnetic magnetic warp based yeah. storms flying yeah. around in, in the sky. He's only other ways. He's got buff powers, but not really particularly useful where he is. So that is the end of my Psyche phase. So again, we haven't got a huge amount. Uh, the also cannon there is going to go for the last chicken. So that's two shots, hitting on freeze. Two misses, it's not a great start. He's going to shoot his warp bolter into Kotias. So that's two shots, hitting on freeze. Uh, one hit. Wounding on freeze. Uh, no wounds. And then... It's going the, well, mate. Yeah, well, it's, not, it's not going ideal. It's not going ideal. Then I mean the sorcerer is going to use the... Uh, I can't remember the name of the strategy, but it's basically you shoot a bolt gun or a bolt pistol and it's D3 mortal wounds if it hits. But on a one, the sorcerer takes D3 mortal wounds. So you're going to shoot that into that. Only the one. So it hits, thankfully, on a three. And that is going to do one mortal wound on that guy. It's probably not worth the combat point. Okay, so start of the charge phase. What are we doing? So the Chaos Lord with his fancy claws. We're just trying to kill characters. The Demon Prince failed his warp time, so there's no backup. So we're going to try and charge this fat bloke. So if he was going to overwatch me, hopefully not kill me in one shot. I need six. I do not get a six. He's got plus two inch to his charge, so as long as even a double one, I think it's going to yeah, be in. So we're going to maybe go around here. Yeah. Let's try and avoid call as much as possible. He's going to have a thing to be in, but let's make it awkward for him. Demon Prince is going to charge the Proteas with his eagle. Uh, okay, so D6 shots with his eagle. Two shots. Probably Six yeah, with his eagle. Fine eagle. <laughs> no, uh, he's got a pistol. No. Cool. So, do you want to roll here? Yep. So, 2D6, he's in. And then the sorcerer is going to charge this bloke. Uh, and that bloke has got something rubbish. He's definitely in. Uh, and he's got, bear with me. Roll it anyway. Pistol D3. Two shots. Ooh, one hit. One hit. Uh, strength six, eradication pistol. Yeah. No. And then two dice to charge. So probably going to be an automatic clue, but yeah, it's going to be a five. Cool. And then I think the cultists might try to charge those uh, guys over there. Yep. Because they can't be overwatched because they're going through impassable terrain. I'm a good six inches from the edge. Uh, what do I need? Just maybe a. I think we need at least an eight. We'll give it a go. Right. We'll double check that just to make sure because I was a little bit cavalier with that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think an 8 is going to get them in, but it's just going to be on the edge there. It's a bit of a holdout to see who wins that combat of slapping. All right. That's all the charges. We'll move everyone in and get back to you in the fight phase. Cool. Okay, so the first fight of the fight phase, and Cool has heroically intervened, obviously, but then the Chaos Lord is slapping this character. Uh, yeah, Manipulus. Manipulus, not that boy, Manipulus. So he's got hitting on twos, and he's using his relic claws. Uh, we don't get any death to the force emperor, unfortunately. Stuff is four. So we're strength five, so we're going to freeze. So that's nice. five wings at minus three. So five up. Oh, sorry, man. there's a the lightning claw, so I can reroll. Yeah, six wings. Six wings minus three. three. So five up still. It's yeah, D3 damage, isn't it? Yeah. So you did. Yeah, so those claws are pretty nasty. So it'll be five D3 damage. Right, over to the Demon Prince. So he has got eight attacks, I believe. Ten attacks. Then he got an extra one for his psychic power. Did he get diabetic strength off this turn? I completely forgot. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. So it's nine attacks, so hitting on twos. Uh, we're on the ones. And then two extra attacks for the Death Force Empress. Right. So that's two sixes, the mortal wounds for his new warlord trait. Yeah. And then he's got this many wounding on uh, twos. So that is an extra ten saves at minus two. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, four ups. I need pretty much all of them. It's quite a lot of damage going through. So probably three days dead. Yeah. The dead coat, yes. Dear. You shouldn't then, have come to this place. No. And I might be able to consolidate into a chicken if we look at that in a minute. 
Um, and the Sorcerer, he doesn't make it into combat very often, but I believe he's got four attacks. Uh, three attacks, yeah, and then one for charging. So he's got four attacks hitting on freeze. Uh, so he's got one death to full tempera. So an extra attack. So he's got four hits, he is strength four, so he's wounding on freeze. So that's three saves at minus. So toughness four. Oh, he's toughness four? Yeah. So it's only one save at minus three. Uh, so it goes straight through. So that's D3 damage. The one. So he's down to three. Cool. Okay, so we resolve this com com combat off camera and uh, the cultist took one head and the Skatari turned around and took another one. Okay, now some attacks back from Belisarius cool into this d uh, Chaos Lord. Yep, so four attacks, hit on twos. Uh, Very so nice. Um, so your strength six. Moving on three. So three at minus two with his Omniscient Axe. So we've got a four up invulnerable save. We fail all of them. Two damage. Not ideal. Each. I think that means unless I command point reroll, I'm a dead chaos sword. I wouldn't oh. spend a command point because I've then got two d6 attacks with another weapon. Is that AP? No AP. I think we take it only the castle is dead, which is unfortunate. Blam. Bland. So diddly doddly piddly diddly, he's got two attacks back. <laughs> uh, one hit, strength four, it's big. Does wound. Does wound. Does wound. One attack of vehicle, so it's one damage, sir, at minus one. Be, four afraid. Up Be very afraid. Oh, it goes through. I'm down to three wounds on that guy as well. Okay, and then the chicken is going to hit because he did get tagged by the consolidation move from old uh, wingy pants. So, both hit. For some reason, he's got a weapon skill of three. Uh, strength six, three, uh, fours. So, one at no modifier and only one damage. So, three up save. So, it. That's it. Okay, so that's the end of the fight phase. Yep. That's the end of the fight phase. And that's the, the end, end of off. your turn, Jay. Yeah. Okay, so at the end of... Joe's turn three, he got Rise to Glory, Area Denial, Assassinate. He didn't kill three characters, so he got one point for that. And he's going to discard Psychological Warfare. So three points plus Defend. Okay, this is how the points look at the end of Battle Round 3. How do you feel that went, guys? Good. I thought it was... Yeah. Right, yeah. All right. I think it's... Yeah. All right. It's... Finally poised, I'd say. So mm. we've got a uh, pretty poor movement now. I let my chicken get tagged, but because there's no armour and that, it's not the end of the world. I'm glad I took the... Lord out because yeah. hopefully I can try and get supremacy this turn if I can fall back from the cultists a little bit and then wipe them out with some backer shots. Um, yeah, so it's all going to come out to the cards now, basically. So whoever gets lucky, isn't it? Because I think we've got no real. You're going to presume not a huge range. advantage on the table. I've got some troops hiding and you've got some robots that can't move. I think it's the first time I've ever been this far in the game and still have four robots. Yes, which is kind of nice, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, this is a. Battle round for movement phase summary for the Admech. Yeah, so I'm trying to get a bit of a cool Night Lord showdown. I'm, I'm saying that, but I'm still going to try and shoot him first, but that's a bit of a backup showdown. Kind of yeah, false, yeah. false heroism, yeah. if you will. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to advance these up because um, Joe, the sneaky bugger, uh, used a strat his last CP to uh, effectively stop my Rangers falling back. So I won't be able to get supremacy this turn. So these vanguards advance two inches to try and get over to objective four, but they'll get shot to crap anyway if they get there. But anyway, let's do that. Uh, the last chicken fell away from the Warlord Knight, um, Doom Prince. Uh, I will repair him because on my cards... Did we did we, we didn't talk cards? about cards, actually, so let's okay. go through those now. So yeah, I've got Machine Eternal. So if I uh, repair... A uh, vehicle that suffered a wound back to full health, I think. Oh, no, it's just repair it. Yeah. Uh, regains all of its wounds. And because he's only taken one, Cole can get him back. So I'll do that now in the movement phase. So he's repaired one. So I do get that. Uh, supremacy, blood and guts, kill a unit, and secure objective four, which is over here uh, underneath that. Charming looking sorcerer, or the master of possession, possession, should I say. So yes, no okay. psychic phase because Cote has died and I didn't spend his uh, make one um, stratagem one CP more expensive, mm -hmm. so that was a bit of a waste. Okay, so okay. into the shooting phase for Battle Round 4. Battle Round 4, uh, yes, so Cole's Aura is now back in play after it being turned off for two turns, which is despicable behaviour from these sneaky Night Lords. So I'm going to fire two sniper shots and 
uh, four rapid fire shots. Yeah, they can all see into this. What's it? Who's it? Uh, it's sorcerer. Sorcerer. Okay, snipers first. So threes with re rolls. Uh, both hit. Uh, I'm looking for threes, sixes, or a mortal. So lovely. So two mortals and two minus twos. So I've only got a five up. It's a dead sorcerer. Good shooting, Tex. Okay, so we're halfway through the shooting phase. Uh, half of the shots from the deck of bots have come into the Demon Prince. Uh, Brolder. Bucket ton of dice, and now yep. Joe's got some one or two saves to make. Yeah, just to say, I was going to charge in, so I wasn't going to shoot anything, any of the DACA bots at Warlord. I thought it'd be really thematic, mm. the call to pile in, but then I actually did some basic mathematics <laughs> uh, and factored in some invulnerable saves and whatnot. And I thought, no, no, I'll do what I'd make do. I'm going to just turn on the yeah. DACA. So, so, we've got a couple of saves to make here. Uh, it's minus two, so we need a five up. He's very dead. Uh, we do have a Furno Pain. Oh, I beg your pardon. I mean, it's going to have to be a hell of a roll, but we do have a Furno Pain. This is just half the shots, by the way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a 5 up Furno Pain, you never know. Uh, it's going to be a dead Demon Prince, unfortunately. And that's Warlord. That is Warlord. So this is a summary of turn four for the Adeptus Mechanicus. Phil, how did it go? Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I was a bit coward's way out. I used 72 Dacker shots to, to kill Joe's Warlord. So I got to say the Warlord and uh, Machine Eternal because I repaired my yep. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, so I think that's it. So at the moment, it's going to be just seeing what I can see, shooting what I can shoot. Uh, Joe's not got any CPs now, so I can fall these guys back. So hopefully get Supremacy uh, next turn. Do, 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 I'll discard Blood and Guts because I'm not going to be doing any melee damage. Fair okay. All right. Over to Joe. Okay. So here's a summary at the end of the Night Lord's turn four movement phase. These are the cards that were drawn at the beginning of the turn. So you've got blood and guts to kill something in melee, which is doable because there is a great possess sneaking up on that combat. Killing something with shooting is unlikely, but we'll see how it goes. Mission critical is the one back there, which is not going to happen. We do have will of chaos, which is just hold objective one, which is this one of the cultists and very nicely babysitting for us. Um, so a quick movement summary, we just kind of moved things forward a little bit, this squad's finally moved forward to try and throw some shots down range. Greater Possessed has moved up to try and help out in that combat, and the Master of Possessions has run away slightly, because he didn't want to get sniped by 20 Admech snipers. <laughs> That's pretty much it for the movement phase, so it's just going to be a really speedy psychic phase, I think. Okay, do you want me to come back to that? Oh, it's just going to be a smite. So the Master of Possession is going to smite onto the Vanguard, so it's going to go off on a 5. Goes off a 9, so D3 Mortals. There's three mortal wounds on these vanguard. Okay, Joe, so a turn four shooting summary. Better than expected, actually. So we managed to pick off two vanguard, uh, two snipers. snipers that are sitting up there. So I've got my victory point for overwhelming okay. firepower. Probably wouldn't call two auto cannons overwhelming firepower, but there you go. So we're going to charge face. This greater possessed is going to try and make a nine inch charge into these uh, ranges there. Doesn't get it on a six, unfortunately. No more CP, so that's no more that. CP, so that's that. We do have a slightly sad combat phase here, which is cultists and rangers slapping each other. Doesn't live up to the rest of the game, I don't think. about Gaunt and his ghosts. Yeah. yeah. We, we move to this. So we've got, what, we've got five boys left, mate? So we've got six attacks. So we've got five boys or four boys? Four, four boys. We've got four each. Take me back. Five boys. Yeah. We've got five. I've got, so got six in attacks in a pause. Death to full hand, bro. Going all over the place. We've woken up a little bit. That's very nice. Two yeah, extra bad. And then wind in on force. Oh, I think I think I Obviously yeah. inspired by the yeah, the yeah exactly. They don't want to let him down. I'm oh. dead. No. Good saving. And then you get to swim back with my one guy. Yep. And your character and in there. So. Okay, so in this ongoing combat, it was tit for tat. One Katari died and one cultist died. And that's the end of the turn. So what did you get? So in terms of points, we did get overwhelmed with firepower for one point. And we did get um, Will of Chaos for one point as well. So that takes it to eight, seven, eight, seven. into the potentially final round. Yeah. Oh, very tight, very tight. Strange cards. Strange cards. So I need two cards. So a quest for knowledge and a victory for logic, which are both admin, which should be good. Score D3 victory points if you control an objective marker that was controlled by your opponent at the start of the turn. Yeah. What's uh, the, so that's pretty likely to happen there, I would reckon. Yeah, so I thought maybe that was there. And victory for logic. Score one victory point if during this turn an enemy cycle was destroyed or an enemy cycle failed a psychic test. So that's potentially. I'm going to have four shots to take that one, I think. Yeah. Then you got one more you need. Yep. 
Phone objective four and priority orders received. Phone objective four is that one. Right? Yeah, so I'm going to force you to take that one, I think. Awful cards. Yeah, it's not what you want. So I've got secure objective four and phone objective four. Okay, here's a turn five movement summary for Phil. Yeah, quite tense, very tight, seven six up. Uh, I've got secure objective four and defend objective four, so I've moved call up and a uh, vanguard, and I'm, I'm within three. Call yeah. call with a hefty six inch advance. Yeah, then. And, and because of his axe, he can see the sorcerer, Belisarius Tall, as you may call him. <laughs> uh, this unit fell back, which means I can get some Daka Fury from the Daka bots onto that unit, and then uh, get. Supremacy with any luck, but I'd have hurt her anyway, I think, because now I'm with him now. But that's the plan. Got a possessor to contend with next turn, but that's that. Chicken's moved over, so he's got objective six. And then, that'd be that. Yeah. We'll do some shooting. Okay, so this is a summary of Phil's turn five. How did it go? Hi. <laughs> um, good. So, secure objective four. I started that with uh, Belisarius Paul. Supremacy, I've got one. Two, three, four. So D three D three victory points. Uh, Ooh, two. That's very good. Uh, victory for logic, so I killed a psycho. Yep. That's one for that, and I started defend. Nice. So two, three, four that turn. Healthy. Uh, sorry, just to talk through it though. Uh, Call didn't do anything. Yeah, just he ran up. The uh, Laz Chicken killed the sorcerer because he was the closest unit. And the Daka bots. That's an early straight Yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, we didn't roll the 72 shots against the yeah. cultists. Obviously, the demon uh, the demon here is going to cause some problems. So it, it all comes down to cards now. So it's 11 6. Joes. I've got 8. 11 8. Joes. Joes and 5. Right, let's do this. Okay, this is a turn summary for Joes turn 5. Uh, these are the cards he drew. Blood and Guts, No Prisoners, Witch Hunter, and Priority Orders Received. Um, and what did you do? So, card-wise, uh, we wanted to try and shoot something over here. We wanted to try and get into combat with the Greater Possessed, and we're just trying to throw as many bodies on this objective to try and stop Paul claiming it. Shooting phase was a bit of a whiff. We had one auto and then it missed. Then we just got a charge of the Greater Possessed going into the... I don't remember what that character's called. The Diddly Dally, uh, whatever his name is. Diddly Diddly. Diddly Boy. <laughs> So I've got two decent charges, pretty much there, but yeah, it's going to be there on 12, I imagine. Furious. You get him. He's livid. He's very angry. He's annoyed all of his cultist pals died before he got there. Yeah. Um, we'll do the combat now very quickly. I'm happy to say he's dead. Yeah, can be. We'll have to stand that on camera, though. It's got to roll it, roll it. Yeah, we'll roll it, we'll roll it. Three wins left, I think. Six attacks. Four extra deaths, four emperors. He's probably going to die, isn't he? Uh, wounding on, freeze. You, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's every dead. single he's dead. one he's dead. wins. Every single one wins. I would like to consolidate it onto the objective, yeah. Have you got the card? What one? No. I get blood and guts for that. Yeah. I do get I mean, no prisoners as well, which is pretty good. So, end of turn summary, I suppose, actually. So, I do get blood of guts for one point. Oh, and I do get no prisoners, I believe, because that's just clean. Yeah. Yep. So, that's two points. So, it's down to 11 10 at the end of that round, right? Very nice. And so, now. 11 10. Does it go on to turn six? That Claire, six. who went first, rolls a dice. Right, that'd be me. On a one, two, the game ends. On a three, four, five, six, goes on. So I need it to end. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh continues. continues. Turn, turn, six. Four. turn six, people. Coming up, end of my movement phase. So here are Phil's turn six orders. Yeah, so I'd started that last turn. Everything else I can't get. Uh, big game partner, he's got no vehicles over that many wounds. Psychological warfare, uh, you know, possibly get psychological warfare, depends what happens in the uh, charge phase, and uh, which hunter I can't get. So I've just had my shooting phase. Um, the combination of the chicken and the snipers killed the three chaos, uh, three chaos marines here, which is pretty useful because they were troops and probably would have advanced onto uh, Objective 4, which I need. Uh, and the back of bots wiped. Uh, CSN unit because Joe had one guy uh, stood up top, so that was unfortunate for him. Uh, so now we've gone into the charge phase, uh, and I've charged the Doug Apostle and the unit of cultists. 
I'm hoping I'm going to use his axe to kill the apostle and the um, mechahendrite to kill the cultist. Uh, Joe did his overwatch and didn't roll any sixes, so we are now into the fight phase. So the um, the axe, four attacks into the Dark Apostle, so twos. Uh, so it's all hit, it's strength, uh, six I believe. So you went on threes. Threes. Uh, so three at minus two. Obviously. So you've got the four up in bomb. Uh, one goes through. One goes through. I think it's just uh, two damage. So it's down to two wounds. So bad. And then I'll do 2d6 on the cultist. Oh. Mm -mm. oh. That's, oh. That's, that's, a, that's a game changer. That's massive. Um, okay. So two hits. Uh, miss one. <laughs> one wound. So has one got wound. Any uh, I don't think it has. A six up. No. So one cultist does die. Wow. That was a massive whiff. Yep. And then we'll just do... Couple of swings back through the cultist quickly because they're not easy. Yep. It's going to be 10 attacks. Uh, hitting on fours. Do you get death force emperor because we still hate calling for a cultist. Uh, yeah, and then winded on fives. No, sixes actually because he's up in six. One wound from the cultists. Uh, two up. So he's saved. And then if you give us a second, I'll just look up the dark apostle stats. So these are the dark apostles attacks back into Belisarius' cool. So we've got uh, three attacks, one because we were charged, so hitting on twos. Uh, one death to the Force Emperor. Uh, we are strength five, so winning on fives. Uh, one wound at minus one. Three up. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, here's a turn six summary for Joe at the end of the shooting phase. So we're at that point where it's just sort of trying to see what points we can get. We've got card wise, uh, psychological warfare, which was maybe doable. Uh, Witch Hunter, Rise to Glory, and Secure Objective 6. Only real hope is I've got a Greater Possessed, make the charge in there, and if we kill enough, we might have to force a morale test. But not Here. kill too much. Not kill too much, it's a very delicate balance in that. Here it's just about can I keep enough troops' choices on that objective to stop uh, Phil gaining it, which is doable. Uh, Corn might not quite kill all 10, and then we can keep holding that. Um, that's about it, I think. So we're going to go straight into combat over here, I think. All right, let's go. Greater possessed. So, Greater to... possessed. He's been a bit of a beast this game, to be fair. He's yes. all yeah, the way yes. down there and back again. Charged through these ruins all the way so up, we up, up the road. We did yeah, watch off camera and yeah. uh, did nothing. So, staying in the wind, actually. He's oh, yeah. down to two. So, he's got six attacks, hitting on twos. So, I need you to absolutely clear up here. Yeah. Three ones is unfortunate. Um, gets death to force emperor, but just get an extra hit. Six is to hit, do do a mortal wound. So, there's two mortals straight away. So, two dead. Yeah. Then we've got wounding on threes, no twos, because he's trying six. So that's ironically, four wins. you kind of wanted a one then, didn't you? Kind of. There's four wounds at minus two. Sixes. Stop being on ten. Yeah, sorry. Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! It's a thing of beauty. I mean, I suppose it makes some rail tests possible. Looking on the right side. No. Yeah, you're minus three. We'll see how it goes. Oh, minus three. <laughs> well, you're minus two because you killed two. And he's ah, a spooky okay. night lord. Yeah, yeah. So a spooky night lord. My head. And then combat phase over here quickly. So it's not going to be a huge amount going on. Um, Dark Apostle has got three attacks into Call. He uh, gets death to Force Emperor with one. Misses again. Uh, wounded on fives. Nope. And then the Cultists. There are probably three or four that are going to swing into the Vanguard. One, two, three. Three, four. Hitting on fours. One hit. I think you'd get no to choose to fight back with someone at this point, wouldn't you? Yeah, after well, the cultists. Oh, you would do, yeah. You're right. Well, no, yeah, because I would. Oh, yeah, because cool. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't mind, then I'll hit back. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I'm going to put you one up for cheating that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm about sick one up. <laughs> uh, so I'll do the four big boy attacks. Yeah, it's the Dark uh, Apostle. No, so I think I just need to kill the cultist. The Dark Apostle right. doesn't out. No, but you don't hold it if it's just. I suppose, yeah, if the Vanguard survives. Vanguard the Apostle, survives, yeah. and Dark Apostle can't hit the Vanguard. Yeah. So, right. Uh, four attacks, twos. Uh, and then twos to kill. So that's three dead. Yep. So this is a big and roll on the two v six. Two v six. I try and beat two this time. Yeah. Six, seven, eight. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's worth saying it is quarter past one as well. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh. So twos. 
What are your canticles this turn? Oh, you uh, are rerolling ones to hit, aren't you? Yeah, reroll ones to hit. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. And uh, strength four, tap his strength three. Yes. Uh, so it's twos, isn't it? Because he's on plus one. Yeah, so if you're strength six, it's winning on twos. Yeah, sorry. So, one, two, three, four, five. So six, uh, no modifier. Six ups. Make one, but I think that's going to be the squad wiped. Because I think there's about five left in there, but I'll double check. Won't that? It's going to be enough to fill the squad. Okay, it's the end of the game. Turn six, summary. What happened here? Call. Call. Uh, call unleashed on the. Uh, he, he did uh, smash a lot of cultists. I mean, he killed eight cultists, but miraculously they survived their morale because they're yep. using the Dark Apostles' uh, morale. Well, what actually happened was that the one survived cause attacks and then mm. the vanguard smashed through the wall yeah. and killed the remaining cultist. Which was important because it got me defended bits of four. That was, that was uh, important. Yeah, that, got, that got me two points at the end. Uh, the Greater Possess piled in. He needed to... Well, I think this was on camera, but he needed to... No, actually, okay. well, yeah, he made you so I got the point, but it's not. Yeah, yeah, it was so enough, and it's yeah. I think it's ended up eleven. Oh, sorry, thirteen, ten. It'll be thirteen, ten, yeah, thirteen, eleven. Joe was just saying he wasn't sure if he added because he got a defend early, and he wasn't sure if he scored two points to one, so it might be thirteen, twelve. And if he did, it was another defend, but might be worse than shorts. Actually, either way, that was a hell of a game. Yeah, actually, we got line breaker. Any line breaking? No, it's been one of those. If we died very early and then not much else has moved. Oh, I would have got first strike as well, no. Yeah, we had, we counted that. But line breaker, oh, yeah, Joe would have got. Oh, interesting. So it's only, oh, so it's still lose by one more, then at one point even. 13 as well. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Very right. close game, close really game. Good. Especially after that first turn where it did feel like it was. Did you know? No, 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 I was, oh, I was, I was very well, close to just going home. We were saying, but after the first turn, we were like, uh, yeah, it's going to be a load of old crap, isn't it? So let you know. So I, I think I'm probably a little bit guilty yeah. of then going, wee. That's what it says. But it probably isn't that way at all. No, probably yeah. played it, you know. It's, yeah. No, it's good. Really enjoyable. Yeah, it was a tight game. It was a nice hour to game. Thank you to Dabbers for writing a sleepy. Sleepy Dabbers. Stay, <laughs> <voice>. Stay <laughs> awake. still a thing. Oh, what? It's a miracle. Look, okay, let's look at this. There's a clock on you have a look. So look at that. Not so sleepy. Not so sleepy now, eh? Bright and bushy Danvers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got East Coast pajamas on. What was your MVP? I mean, he's got to be the greatest possessed, if I'm honest. Yeah, he can't yeah, He was a swipe. beast. He started down here, had his entire unit wiped out, single handedly took out 10 infiltrators, yeah. and then marched back up the board to get line. Yeah. Which is. I think, from like, a fluffy point of view, like him sort of charging his oh, way yeah. through those buildings, smashing things up. Just. Uh, I did love the greatest possessed. I'd, I'd make it. Because it's a castle, it's. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's not that much fun. No, not, not, not fun, but it's not that much variety, really. Mm. It's just basically it's just castle up. Apart from the infiltrators and cutting, yeah. just yeah. This guy did pretty well, though, didn't he? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Once Sorry, he came no, out. Was. Once he came out. It's pretty quick swimming. when he gets going, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He moves eight inches in advance. I think he advanced five, so he's made some good progress there. I think, in terms of the new stuff, I think the Night Lord strategy was a massive. Because mm. that was a game, I mean, we've played a lot of Admet versus Night Lords. Yeah. And it does tend to go the way in the Admet favour, I would say. Yeah, you go first and you, you know, sometimes you bring Leviathans and whatnot. Yeah. You can really I mean, the fact that I had those stratagems where it was turning off calls or a lock of beacon in combat kept me in the game after a pretty horrendous turn one. I mean, that's, if you're quite a fluffy player, that's kind of what you want, isn't it? You want to be able to take on armies and have a bit of a yeah, fighting yeah, chance. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind yeah. losing, but it's no fun just getting picking models off the table. Yeah. You know, and they're, they're all really thematic, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, very bizarre. I don't think anyone's read the. Night Lords trilogy, but they're pretty much all taken from that book, which is nice for a, I said, a Fluffmeister. Yeah, Fluffmeister. Yeah. Co- yeah. I think, is cracking. Cote has just whack him in. Nine yeah. points. Yeah. And he's, uh, yeah, he's giving you some psychic shenanigans. He didn't do much this game, but... He didn't do a great deal. But he's um, not that voice. Nine points. No nine points. No statue issues. No. I was using him as a bit of a counter at first. Yeah. Because well, he's got a mask off his under armour. I think he's, he's doing... He did deny a walk plan at the end, didn't he? So, I mean, yeah, that could have been 90 good. points for that. It's yeah, not bad. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, great right. games. That's our third one. Uh, not sure what's up next. Probably right. Mr. Spear. Maybe yeah. yourself, Sleepy. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, for now, yeah. I think uh, we're all going to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> not to get maybe we'll to get we'll see how it goes. Tidy up for the next three hours. And yeah. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.